Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about one of the number one DWI questions that I like to ask police officers. Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney located in beautiful Ithaca, New York. My practice focuses or concentrates on DWI defense and DWI defense within the Finger Lakes region of New York State. One of the big things about a trial uh, is being able to cross-examine the police because they are the main witnesses in a DWI or DWAI case. And the reason that we want to cross-examine the police is we want to hone in on problems with a case. Common sense tells us that if someone's had a lot to drink, common sense, if they've had 8, 10, 12 beers, they've drank a gallon of alcohol, that's a large quantity of liquids, that that would necessitate them having to go to the bathroom. So one of the first questions I like to ask is, you pulled them over at 12.01. You took them back to the station and you processed them. Now it's 1.30 in the morning, you're breath testing them. At any time in that hour and a half, two hours that they're at the police station, did they request to go to the bathroom? Did they go to the bathroom? And a lot of times the police tell me, no, they didn't have to go to the bathroom. Yet, they're going to testify and tell me how drunk they were, how inflamed and swollen and red their eyes were rolling out of their head and they were rocking back and forth and everything else. But common sense tells us that if somebody is that drunk, has consumed that amount of alcohol, that amount of fluids, they're going to have to go to the bathroom. Otherwise, maybe they didn't have that much to drink and maybe you're exaggerating these other things. So that's one of the primary things or primary areas of interest that I have is did someone actually go to the bathroom if they had that much alcohol or if you're saying that they had that much alcohol in their system? Maybe they really weren't intoxicated, maybe they were just impaired, maybe they weren't any of those things. You could either give me a call, or you can send me an email if you have a question about your case in the Finger Lakes region of New York State. And thanks for watching this video.